Hi, my name is Jen Hillman and I'm with Bailey B. Believes and I'm so excited that you're here with me today. It's January 12, 2015 and we're going to continue to talk about something that makes us feel uncomfortable, child sexual abuse. And first, I want to thank everyone who participated in last week's challenge. We reached over 500 likes and I'm very grateful. And the winner of our challenge is going to receive our educational DVD program and it's Amanda Thompson Chow and I'll be contacting you shortly so I can send this off to you. Um, to start educating your own children. And if you stay tuned to the end of our discussion today, I'm going to have another giveaway, and we're going to be giving away this amazing book, Protecting the Gift by Gavin DeBecker. I highly recommend everybody read this book. Um, it will change your life, I promise you. So today we're going to really focus on statistics, um, where they come from, why we choose what we are doing, and what we are saying, okay? Um, and so when I first began this company in 2012, the statistic was one out of four girls and one out of six boys will be sexually abused by the age of 18. Today, there has been some research that shows there is an actual decline in child sexual abuse, which, yay, is great news, but it's still one out of 10 children will be sexually abused by the age of 18. Now, no matter where you get your statistics from, what you say, one out of 10 one out of four, one out of six is absolutely astonishing no matter how you look at it, no matter what, how you say it, and it has to change. In my opinion, we should be discussing this every single day, every single second of the day, talking about it on TV, radio, it should be on billboards, it should be in commercials. We should be educating, encouraging, and empower everyone we know, children, facilities where our children participate in, parents, we need to, again, we need to step it up, um, and that's what I'm here to do. So if we use the statistic, one out of 10 children will be abused by the time they're 18 years of age. That means 400,000 babies born in the U.S. this year alone will be sexually abused by the time they're 18. Now, if you're visual like me, I want you to visualize five um, Cowboy Stadiums, the AT&T new stadium that holds 80,000. I want you to, I want you to picture five of those stadiums full of newborn babies, and those newborn babies 400,000 will be abused by the age of 18. To me, again, astonishing. Um, and Gavin De Becker, and this is why we're using his book this time as a giveaway, makes an astonishing and a great point that even no matter what statistic we're using, one out of four, one out of six, one out of 10, that statistic is still not accurate. Why? Because only 38% of children actually disclose their abuse. That means the rest of the people who aren't disclosing aren't included in the statistics. I mean, that is crazy to me, okay? Um, so no matter what we're using, they're still inaccurate. Um, and the reason why children aren't disclosing is because they're fearful, because um, they've been manipulated so highly that they don't know that it's wrong because they haven't been educated that it's wrong. And don't forget, it's going to feel good because that's the way our bodies are made. Um, so they don't know it's wrong, it feels good, um, or the abuser, and more than likely they're using all of these techniques, is highly manipulative. And so if it's a family member, they're using things like, well, you're going to destroy your family. No one's going to believe you. Your mother's not going to love you. Um, we won't have this wonderful family connection anymore. Blah, da, 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 da. Whatever they use to keep their victims quiet, that's the reason um, the majority of people don't even disclose their abuse. And so we need to change that. We need um, our children to be highly educated and the moment something happens, they immediately come to us and we immediately believe them and make sure that we take the necessary steps to protect them. Um, again, 90% of the children who are being abused are not abused by the stranger off the street, but by the person whom you're letting walk through your front door, by the person who is sitting across from you at the dinner table. Again, it's the people who have access to our children, who have prior relationships with us, um, who are abusing our children. That's how it's happening at the rate it is happening. Um, and of course, the younger the child, the more likely they are to be abused by a family member. Children under the ages of six who are being abused are 50 times more likely um, to be abused by a family member. Um, again, and, and sometimes even the children disclose and parents don't want to believe it. They're in such denial that it's happening, that it's happened in their home that has happened by somebody they know, love, and trust, that they tell the child that they don't believe them, and then nothing gets done. And again, that never gets reported. It's not in the reported st statistic, and that adult carries that um, for the rest of their lives. 
Um, and so we really continue, we need to continue to work on this, talk about it, make people feel uncomfortable. And you know what, I made a list before I started this and because I thought, oh, well, I wonder how many people I personally know. I personally know 22 people, okay, either a friend or a family member that I know that have disclosed that they have been sexually abused. Um, the stories that they've shared with me, of course, are horrific. And of course, all of them knew their abuser. Most of them, in fact, were by family members. Stepfathers, fathers, grandfathers, uncles, cousins, brothers, um, one by a minister, by a coach. I've heard all the stories, um, and they're actual friends of mine. So the challenge today is I want to hear how many people you know have been sexually abused, personally know that your friend or a family member, um, and you will go in a drawing to win this amazing book, Protecting the Gift by Gavin DeBecker. I will report the results next week, and I look forward to hearing, you, hearing from you and seeing you again next Tuesday. Bye-bye.